We are in uh, Antignano. And so you came home, right? <laughs> After 25 years, I, yeah, <laughs> I came home. <laughs> and you were looking for a place to live? Well, uh, I didn't expect to, to stay in Livorno because I, have, I had other plans of uh, living in a van. But this is a house from late 1800. Please welcome. And I, the chance I could use just one room. I just need one room and I'll, I'll build my tiny house. So on that side is private. <laughs> and this is my tiny house. This was just one room, a living room. Uh, living room. So basically this is my bedroom, my living room, <laughs> and it's a place where I, I work. My wardrobe, because I have everything in, under the bed. See? <laughs> and see so this becomes a platform bed if you need it to be? It's already a platform bed for me. <laughs> so I sleep here. But if, if I want, I just grab the, the other mattress and it's a, if you just stay like this, we, we can have a conversation, we can talk with, uh, with friends. And it's easy to stay in five, six, eight people with no problem. And I did it with uh, second hand uh, wood, so very cheap. So you built this yourself? Yeah, very, very easy to be honest. Yeah. Just a few walls. Uh, with the same wood, I, I have all my kitchen stuff. I'm vegan, I follow a very simple diet, let's say. <laughs> yeah, it's very basic, you know. Pasta and pasta integrale, mm -hmm. lentil pasta, and couscous. I mean, it's 13, 14 square meters, this space. It's the same size of Thoreau. Uh, hot, Walden hot. Yeah. Did you have you read Thoreau? You, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, were you inspired by Thoreau at all, or did you have? I've been inspired, sure, sure. I change house, I moved forty times in my life, so all my belongings now are in two backpack, and I'm really happy about it. My t-shirts and. If I have to move, I just put everything inside two backpacks and then I go. I used to have 1500 books, and like a bookshop, <laughs> so many, and, and now, now it's all in those little where? boxes. Can I see what you've chosen? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I've chosen <laughs> is <laughs> performance art, okay. recipes from refugees, uh -huh. and my last book. Besides being an author, I use my body to do performance art. My 40,000 axes, 40,000 tattoo that I have on my body. Because 40,000 is a number that is telling many different stories, like 40,000 animals killed every second just to satisfy our appetite. 40,000 tattoos on your skin is powerful because it's everywhere. This is one of the most simple performance I lay down on the pavement. In different cities? In different or, cities. Yeah. Like if we talk about the USA, for example, 40,000 are the people killed by firearms every year. And 40,000 are the people killed by drug addiction mm -hmm. every year. And many, many other different stories with the same number. And I have also my, some stuff that I use during my performance, like these fishing hooks for quite challenging performance. Body, body suspension. When I plan my performance and when I do my lino print, this is my working table. Where you cut the, the pink rubber, it will become white. This seems like paintbrush, uh -huh. but it's not. It's made by lino print. But all the space that I need is here. No? Yeah, it's good for small space, isn't it? It's good for small spaces, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and when I have to dry the, the print, I just hang them. This 
since this was not a room intended to be a kitchen or a bathroom, it was just a living room, I didn't have any pipes. So this is an electric toilet, okay? What does that mean exactly if it's an electric that, toilet? That you don't need a proper big sewage pipe. Uh -huh. You just need a small sewage pipe that is the same for the kitchen. And the shower, I made a hole in the, in the wall and that goes in my vegetable guide. <laughs> if, if the shower and the, not the toilet, obviously. No, no, okay, not okay, the okay, toilet. Just the, yeah. the toilet, I made this because when you wash fruits, you, you waste a lot of water. So I just wash in a bucket and then I reuse the, the water for. Oh, so you can, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. That's great. The bathroom is very small, but it's bigger than the one that I used to have on my caravan or in my van. The shower is perfect and I don't need nothing else. You have a small vegetable garden and the water that from the shower, okay. it's this. <laughs> and it goes there. This summer was really very, very hot summer but we didn't have problem because I, all the showers, uh, it's a lot of water that you, that you reclaim. <laughs> Gives me really a lot of salt, too much. <laughs> so I have to give to the neighbor. Garden is bigger than the house. Still plants that we can use. So the, there are still bees. We are losing bees so quickly in these days. And this is a good place for them. And I can use these herbs for my recipes. This is an apricot. A lot of jam during the, the summer. <laughs> Figs, olives. There are some web platform that allow you to invite people having dinner with you without being a restaurant, not even an home restaurant. It's called social eating. It's easy because you don't need special permits. It's a moment where people can, especially in Livorno, that is not a vegan place. <laughs> it's a chance for people to experience vegan meals that are good and to pay attention that our roots Believe it or not, are vegan because I remember my grandmother' recipes. She was a beautiful uh, cook, but from a very poor family, and our mm, family uh, recipes were vegan. La questa ricetta si chiama castagnaccio. È una delle ricette più semplici della nostra tradizione toscana. So, what were some of the recipes? Tappa col pomodoro. Pappa col pomodoro is famous in all Tuscany. It's bread soup with tomato. It's very delicious. Or corn, polenta, with uh, winter cabbage. In Livorno it's called bordatino. Or a panzanella that is like a rice salad but made with old bread. And these recipes are not vegan, are just from Tuscany. Classic recipes, classic <laughs> from Tuscany. Tuscany recipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happen to be vegan. Exactly. So yeah, I have all the stuff that is needed to to prepare a, an event. So what changed? Why did people? I mean, it's, it's it. <laughs> if people if people used to eat a lot more vegan recipes, what changed? Did they? My grandmother was from a poor family, and when people started having more money, they thought the meat or fish or cheese was better. <laughs> but that was not true. So because you could, why yeah, not do it? Exactly. Yeah. I built it this by myself. If you have to open a restaurant, it takes maybe, I don't know, 150,000 euro. This, this was a gift of a friend of mine. The curtains were a gift as well. These I made it with reclaimed wood and the, the other stuff is a few euros. These were gifted as well <laughs> from my cousin. <laughs> oh, 
So your house is beautiful. I mean, it, was, it a, was it once a bigger house? These were contadini. I say contadini. People work in the land. Peasants. Pe peasants. Pe peasant housing. Peasant yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. From the... Or farmers or... or well, farmer, peasants. farmer is big. Okay, so <laughs> peasants. Peasants, peasants, yeah. peasants houses from late 1800. Ground floor were used for animals or for storing stuff. So this is your herb garden here, you were sort of talking, right? And my herb garden and my vegetable garden, yeah. And in summertime I use big uh -huh. pots for tomatoes. This is the most popular herb, rosemary. It's very used for meat recipes, but also for potatoes or for pumpkin. This is a similar to oregano. It's like a wild oregano. Oh, yeah, so good. these two herbs with olive oil and salt and pumpkin and potatoes together and it's super good. When I cook potatoes with oregano and rosemary, I'm happy. Really, I'm happy. I'm not kidding. And here we have uh, rice and basmati rice, corn. There's I mean, uh, seeds and sunflower seeds, yep. raisin, lentils, more lentils, different kind of flowers that I use to prepare biscuits. I make them in this small oven and they are perfect. I like what I eat. I like what I eat and I'm, I'm happy about it. So it's still tasty. It's tasty, it's nice. It's nice food, it's com comfort food. <laughs> Every simple ingredients become special, an experience. <laughs> Didn't choose at the beginning to use plastic uh, box, but since we have a garden just outside and this is a very old house, there are many uh, ants. So to avoid fighting with ants, I choose to use plastic box. This bucket, so they cannot go inside. <laughs> you have to find creative solutions yeah. or living a vegan lifestyle with pests. <laughs> when I go to sleep, I just... Well, <laughs> I do this. Do you get a lot of mosquitoes in this area then? During the summertime, I stay inside, so they stay outside. <laughs> Mosquito proof. <laughs> and it's big, so if I have my girlfriend, it covers also the other bed. So can you leave the door open when you sleep? Yes. Because you have that, right? Yeah. Uh, exactly. huh. That's really nice. If I don't want to use this table, because maybe I'm working with the Lino Prince, I have this small. So I can watch music video with my son. <laughs> How fun. Or you can have a little dinner here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your dining? What is your dining table? Or this one or those? Are those, right? Yeah. It's almost like a Japanese style type of table, right? It's uh Yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but believe me, we have been having lunch in uh, eight, nine, ten people. Here? Yes, yeah, yeah. because four fits perfectly here, you know, it's big. Yeah. And two there. And if I want to have my girlfriend here, it's just <laughs> like this. And you have a huge bed. I have friends with beautiful houses, but none of them have a so big place to sleep or to play, you know. And this is their favorite place for watching uh, movies and playing, yeah. But I like this box very much. Because it's not just a box, it's a... Uh, okay, my, my place, and it's, for me it's perfect, because I'm used to living in caravan and van and uh, uh, camper. My lifestyle is very minimalist, and so it, I manage to, to survive, let's say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
This is my original stencil. In order to count the 40,000 axes, I had 182 of these square on my, on my body. So it was easy to count.